Welcome back. It's not only the temps heating up across the area. How about some local baseball teams playing for a state title? Let's check out DeHennis taking on Nazareth for the 1A state championship. And the Cowboys find themselves in a bit of a jam at the bottom of the first. Nazareth has runners on second and third, but pitcher Ryan Hendry gets a pop up into shallow left. Looks like it might drop, but left fielder Leighton Herman hustles and makes the grab and sees that the lead runner is off the bag. As we look at these highlights, he touches the, there in the third inning, ending that double play. So we're still scoreless in this game. DeHennis finally breaks through in the top of the fourth. Base is loaded. Herman draws a walk. That scores J.J. Garcia, and it's 1-0 DeHennis. And no more damage done in that inning, but the bats come alive in the top of the fifth. Dalen Gonzalez with a base hit into right. Kobe Fortner scores, and it's 2-0 Cowboys right there. The inning continues this time. Rain Redden drives a base hit right up the middle. Gonzalez rounds third, and he will score part of a third run inning for the Cowboys. They lead 4-0 after five, and Hendry keeps on dominating on the mound throughout this game, pitching a three-hit shutout, striking out six batters, including, you saw right there, the final out. DeHennis wins the title 4-0, and the Cowboys can't feel but help like it's 2019 all over again. Kind of eerily scary how 19 and this year matched up with each other. We had a run rule in the semis and a shutout, and then we we both won four to nothing in the finals in shutouts. I mean, I, I really don't know how you can script that any better, uh, but I'll take it. It's hard to lose when you don't give up a run. So, I, I, you know, we might still be playing, but we can't lose. So I, I'm just proud of the way we played defense and pitched. It was awesome. Three years ago, I watched a video of Alex Majors pitch here and win it for Ehennis, and I said, I want to do that and get that last strikeout, and I did that, and it feels amazing. I'm so excited, so happy, just happy for my team, happy for myself, everybody. It's awesome. That is great stuff right there. So back in 2019, DeHennis won both the baseball and softball title, just like they did this year. This marks the third baseball state title in program history. All right, checking out this next game is the 2A state championship game. Shiner trying to complete an undefeated season, taking on Valley Mills. The Comanches get on the board first in the bottom of the second. Carson Schuett grounds out to the second baseman, but it's enough to get a runner home, that being Bryce Phillip. Shiner leads 1-0. Eagles answer in the top of the third game tied at 1-1 when Valley Mills dr drills one into deep. The gap in right center. Two runs come in to score capping off a three-run inning and it's 3-1 Valley Mills. They lead 4-1 heading into the bottom of the fifth. Shiner loads the bases but Valley Mills pitcher Kenneth McLean gets a huge strikeout. You see that right there to end the threat and Shiner unfortunately falls short of the state title losing 4-2. All right, out here at Reagan High School. Check this out. The Reagan Rattlers baseball team got a sweet send off as they head up the road for state. Fight 98 is their motto this season. That's the 98 mile trip to Dell Diamond in Round Rock, where the Rattlers will face Rockwall Heath in the state tournament. That game is tonight, and this is what the Rattlers have been working for all season. This moment right here is surreal. Everyone here uh, setting us off to Round Rock is awesome. Uh, we, we just have that fight factor, we like to say. We, we really don't care who we're playing. We're going to play with the same emotions, the same intensity, like a dogfight. So we're going to war, and it's always a war, and we play like it always is. All right, they're ready to go here. Reagan and Rockwell Heath will play ball tonight at 7 at the Dell Diamond. So make sure that they stay cool and go Rattlers. And just want to remind you guys again, game four, the NBA Finals tonight on KSAT 12. Golden State looking to even up the series against Boston tonight. Tip off at 8 p.m. Go Celtics. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Waiting, Fred. Fred. Waiting, Fred. <laughs> well, if you want to stay away from some heat, you have to stay indoors. And I think that's where we find Fiona inside in the cool temperature. What are you guys up to? Whose hand is that? Oh, yes, world famous comedian Tommy Davidson is here. And you're in for a lot of laughs this weekend at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club. And you've been to San Antonio. I what's have, your, what's I your have. favorite? Well, thing it's about a secret it? it's possums and musicians will get into it. I mean, magicians will get into it later. <laughs> And magician Scott Pepper is here from the Magician's Agency with a preview of the show this weekend, and he's showing us the ropes. Yes, I'm going to show you the difference between reality and magic. See, reality is here me making a loop on the rope. Uh, magic with me pulling that loop right off the rope like that. I know, kind of crazy, right? And then, but we know that was just a piece of rope. So if I place it back on here and blow for me, perfect. <laughs> oh, all that and more when SB Live continues in just a few minutes. Thanks for joining us on the News at Noon. Take care. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. I'm Tommy Davidson. You're watching SA Live. <laughs> yes, hello. 
and happy Friday. Look who's with me right here. Yes, I'm Fiona Gorski's, and of course, you know, I've got amazing world-class actor and comedian Tommy Davidson with me. And, you know, we've got summer tunes. We're talking summer concerts today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, so our question of the day, what song would describe your life right now? Uh, probably a Saturday in the park. Sing it was the 4th of July, but it's not Saturday, it's not 4th of July, but that would do it. That would do it. <laughs> Mine would just be the circus theme song. Just on replay, just dip, 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 yep. Dip, 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 yep. That pretty much sums okay. it up okay. with a three-year-old okay. at home that's like a little tiny terrorist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I know what that's like, too. I got a one-year-old. One-year-old. Yeah, welcome to the circus. <laughs> yes, right. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> welcome to the jungle. <laughs> so let us know what song describes your life right now at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and you might see your answer a little later in the show. All right, well, of course, if you're looking for a laugh this weekend, guess what? Tommy Davidson, of course, performing at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club, okay? But he's here at Market Square before you take yes, the stage yes, there. And always good to have you back. Always fun to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. And I have a picture of the two of us from... Uh, I think we have it, right? And this was taken... Not the 90s, right? This was taken... You know what? I don't think the year matters. We, oh, okay, okay. We look good, okay. right? This is a while back. I don't need to... We, I look like we I'm don't need to talk about the year. I look like I'm about to... <laughs> look like I'm about to hold up a liquor store. <laughs> And you look like you went to Catholic school, just, you know. <laughs> I was dared to wear that vest and tie at work that day when I, uh -huh. when I was doing weather up there. Because this was taken up in Dallas when, when, when I was up there. Right, and so, right. yeah, that was a dare <laughs> that I, I lost. I think I just came from the bus stop or something. <laughs> but that was, a, that was good times. Okay, so, of course, how does it feel to be back in Texas? Because you've got Texas ties, right? Oh, yeah, i got Texas ties. I have a, a home in Houston. Um, I, I do love the Texases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you don't really got to go anywhere else in the world or in the country. You know what I mean? Right. Everything's there, okay? When people come to Texas, they expect everybody to be in a pickup truck and, and see cows <laughs> and all this. No, no, no. You're going to see Filipinos. You're going to see Mexican. You're going to see Asian. You're going to see Indian. You're going to see everything. Everybody, yes. Everything. <laughs> it's the only place you can get good Mexican food and then run over there and get good Thai food. Run over there and get good Caribbean food. All in 20 steps. All, all in 20 steps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and what and you barbecue, love, as and soon barbecue. As you, yeah, you can just dive out the window and just like. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you've been touring, of course, with some of your Living Color uh, co-stars, uh -huh. and you know, the, of course, there's a reboot of the Proud Family. So does that mean there might be a reboot of In Living Color? You know what? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Too. I hope so. We got to ask Keenan that because Keenan okay. is like the Professor Xavier of us, you mm -hmm. know. So once he decides, because he's like the lord of comedy, mm -hmm. so once he goes, you know, Jim and Jamie and all of you guys, I need you guys to get together and come and do a living color. <laughs> And then That'll we have to widen it. the door, and then Jennifer Lopez would come in there. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Yes, we all can dream. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, okay, so at, like you just did, folks love impressions. So right. can you do, say, Sylvester Stallone as a ballet instructor? That's so easy. Okay. All right, you know, the first thing I want you guys to do is puree, all right? Now, puree is, 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 is sort of a move, and you kind of do this thing here, but you don't got to do it the whole way, because every time I do it, it kind of hurts. So watch this. Hey, yeah, you see, so don't do that but just try to puree. Now, puree! All right. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay. All right, we got one more here. These are um, our SA Live sports highlights. Okay, and okay. Can you comment as Sammy Davis Jr. commenting over these sports highlights? Sure, I could. Okay? Sure, I could. Let's this, see if I could do uh, This first one is uh, me riding a bull. Okay. First time was an experience, twice Okay, so stupid. that happened fast. Mm -hmm. It sure okay. did. Mutual decision. And, and this is easy now. I, I, I only got one eye, so I can only see this, but it's in slow motion. <laughs> And I see this bounce, down, bounce to it, baby, bounce to it, and then I see you're down. And 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 and, but I love the hockey helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, this next clip, okay, <laughs> is my fabulous co-host Mike uh, showing off uh, his skills from back in the day on a uh, on a football field. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Okay. He thinks he's gonna do it. Uh, he's oh, he really, he's wanna, very confident. Yeah, I want to do this as a bomber, man. All right. Okay, okay. okay. Right. Well, you see, he's going to chase this thing, and, and he's going to catch it. And then eventually he's going to chase it and, and not catch it. Now, now it looks like he's going to catch it, but it doesn't look like he is. And now again, he, he's not going to catch it. <laughs> yes! yes. Okay. All right, we got one last one here. Okay. And this is, of course, my fabulous co-host, Mike, uh, on his uh, first attempt to, well, there. Okay. It speaks for itself right there, yeah. Okay, let me try this. Okay. Uh, hold on, I, I want to really examine that. I got to take out my high. I didn't see anything. <laughs> yes, okay, of course. Now, what can folks do?
folks expect at the show this weekend at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club? Uh, expect, expect love, ex expect laughs. You know, you guys have been through a little bit. Yeah. I'm here to the rescue. The country loves you guys. We all support you guys. Okay, I got Eric Blake with me. We bring the party every time. LOL means laugh. You need it. We'll give it. Because folks can help give back, right? Because it's helping yes, out the can. victims of Uvalde, too, yes, right? Yes, we can. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, you can catch Tom, Tommy Davidson at the Laugh Out Loud Comedy Club starting at 7.30 p.m. He has a bunch of shows through Sunday, June 12th. Here. A portion of the proceeds will go towards the Rob Elementary Victims Fund. For a link, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, of course, if you're looking for another fun show to keep you inside and out of the heat this weekend, the Magician's Agency Theater is featuring another world-class performer who can amaze and entertain. Magician Scott Pepper is here to show us a preview of the show this weekend. Did you know that you are going to be a part of this? I did not. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Great, Scott, now I'm going to make got? a comedian laugh. No <laughs> pressure whatsoever. Thanks, Tommy. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's do uh, let's do something quick here. Um, Fiona, just okay. take one out. Doesn't matter which one. Just Doesn't nice and quick. Okay, have a look. Do I, do I, I look at it? Do they look at it? Oh, too? you look at it for oh. the minute. And okay. um, I wasn't. Well, I didn't have one ready for Tommy. So we'll we'll, we'll, okay, okay, okay. we'll do yeah we'll do one with you here, Tommy. Okay, so um, okay. I'll just go through the deck, and you just shout stop. Stop. Okay, have a look at that. Got I'm going to show the camera okay, this time. Okay. I'm not going to look. Okay. okay. And uh, Fiona, you remember yes. your card? Yes. Would you put it back into the back? Anyway, you like? Uh, oh. Tommy, I'm just going to put my wallet up there for the minute. Okay. Okay. All right. Pressure. We've got one yes. here and one here. You okay. guys are both thinking of your playing cards, correct? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I've got my wallet here. It's my lucky wallet. Inside here, I have some predictions. And hopefully, this is going to mean something to both of you. Okay. okay. Inside here, I have one card right here. Fiona, would that be incredible if that was your card? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, would that be incredible if that was your card? Yeah. Let me show you first. Fiona, is that your card? <laughs> Is it? It is, right, Tommy? Is that your card? Yes. It is! See, two cards. Into, and if you're watching at home, that's also your card as well. So, uh, that counts, right? Yes! No, 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 no. See? Please don't clap that. That's Not terrible. The only okay. Comedian here. <laughs> All right, look, look, look. Like I said, it's my lucky wallet. I have two cards in here. Tommy, your one is right here in the pocket. Now, when I made this prediction, have a look. There it is. When I made this prediction, I didn't know you were going to be here. So it's very fuzzy. I only saw half of the prediction, okay. which is really weird. So I only saw half of your card. So if you say pick the ten of diamonds, I pick the five of diamonds. If you pick the four of hearts, I saw the two of hearts, and that's what my prediction is. Okay. So for the first time, Tommy, what was the card you saw? Uh, seven of clubs. No, no, seriously, what was it? <laughs> I think it was seven of clubs, wasn't it? Seven. Half a seven is three mm -hmm. and a half. Mm -hmm. Cool, okay, Fiona, let's do yours instead. Uh, no, really, it was really the seven of clubs. Half a seven of clubs would be the three and a half of oh clubs. There it is, God. three and a half clubs. All right, that brings us to one more, Fiona. Inside here, I have one final card. This is the No one. way. <laughs> right, so you had a free choice of energy. You put it back in the pack. For the first time, what was the card you picked? Three of clubs. Not only did I pick the three of clubs, I also changed it into the ace of spades. <laughs> no? All right, Teddy, actually, Teddy, can you come wow, close? Do you what, know, it's weird that I've got the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is one of the only cards in the deck with writing on it. Can you come right in here? Can you see what it said under the spade here? I it says, know uh, you, you chose the three of oh, clubs. Stop it! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Okay. Oh. Okay, so tell folks all about the show this weekend. Yeah, so normally, as you've seen, like most of the weeks I've been bringing other acts on here. This week it's going to be my show. So uh, tonight you're going to see pictures come to life. You're going to see kind of mind reading. Uh, there's going to be some cool card tricks and rope stuff like you saw at the beginning. A lot of fun for all ages. It's going to be a great time. And like I said, all our shows are family friendly at the Magician's Agency Theatre. So uh, you come see our show, then go straight to Tommy's show. You can see <laughs> two in one night. I love it. Hold on, my underwear are gone. <laughs> That wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Pepper and Tommy Davidson, of course, thank you for stepping in. There's the information tonight and Saturday, 7 p.m. Really Sunday at 2. Get tickets online. Just head to our website for more information, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on the show. The stars are heading to San Antonio all summer long. See some of the musical acts on the way and how you can have a fun-filled day of animals, rides, and rock stars for free. We're gonna tell you about a ticket giveaway headed your way. But first, SA Live Summer Camp Week isn't over just yet, where, you're, where your little ones can bring out their inner artiste 
and make all the mess they want. It's next. Plus, our friends from the Animal Defense League let us know that they are nearly at capacity. If the animals they have don't get adopted, you know what? They can't save more lives. So today through Sunday, they are waiving all adoption fees with some sort of monetary donation to the ADL medical program. If you have room in your home and heart, go out and find a new furry friend and help save a life. More SA Live is on the way. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if these past few weeks have been any indicator, <laughs> we are in for a long, hot summer. And if you need options to keep those kids entertained and indoors to stay cool, our summer camp week comes to a close today with the perfect place to have some fun inside and maybe even get a little messy. Our Jen Tobias Trusky is out at Pinspiration. Hey there, Jen. Yes, summer camps are underway here at Pinspiration. So if you have kiddos that are super creative, this is the perfect spot to be because it sure is going to be a good time. Get it? Yes, we're starting with a surfboard. Christy Marr joins me. <laughs> and we're getting a taste of some of the fun crafts that kids can do this summer, right? Yeah, so we have nine weeks of summer camp and each week has a different theme. Uh, and of course, we have to start off uh, with a beach theme for the first two weeks. We've got our sand sensational camp. And then the next week is going to be sure is fun. <laughs> uh, so we have different themes every week. Uh, kids that are elementary age can come in and every day they're going to do at least two crafts. Uh, there's something different to do every day and we've got fun tie-dye inspired camps, a travel the world camp. So we theme the different projects every day. They come in, have a great time, uh, they get a snack and a drink, get to hang out with friends and get really crafty. So uh, we have a lot of different things to do. Like, like you said, you've got that surfboard um, yeah. right there and that's gonna be done in the first couple weeks. And then we've got other things, for yes. example, when it's color camp, we're gonna do fun things like put the kids in the splatter room, so they'll get to Ooh, do stuff like that. That's so fun. They can paint the background, uh, they can put their initials, so we've got that. They're also gonna do things that they normally wouldn't get to do every day here at Pinspiration. So they're gonna do different types of crafts. This is an alcohol ink craft, so what they're gonna do is make this beautiful vase with the different alcohol ink colors there. So so it looks very, it's stained glass. Uh, kids have a lot of fun making this and you just oh, drop cool. the paint on there <laughs> and let it go and drip all the way down the side. As you can see, we've got so many different colors. You can do purple, yellows, you name it. Um, That's so fun. Then for the other days uh, and for other crafts, as you can see, we've got so much that they're gonna be able to do. Yes. We've got these little, what we try to do is get them, instead of just painting things, we want them to use their imagination and create Activity. So, for example, we have over here that we, they're going to have fun painting a uh, beach scene, but they're going to use things like pipe cleaners and seashells, paint them, glue it on there to look like kelp and seaweed and fish. We even, they're going to make their own little crab with the shells and pipe cleaners. Um, and also other fun things like pom-poms and buttons. Uh, they get to use their imagination and create something that they really, really love. For example, we've got a little rainbow here. So if you have a little girl and she loves yeah. rainbows and unicorns yeah. that's something that she's going to be able to easily do but also have a lot of fun and it's really funny it's really fun when the kids use the mixed media and do yes. all of that stuff because it keeps them interested it keeps mm -hmm. them entertained there's so many different things use their sequins, imagination use right their imagination yes, yes. Um, they'll be able to do some fun painting some more abstract painting we've got uh, during one of our color weeks we're going to be doing an Andy Warhol like painting oh, nice. so they're going to do paint little four blocks and and take their hands and put it in oh, print in different colors and that's really mm -hmm. pretty the letter there yes. with the flowers so one of the days the each kid that's here we're gonna get their the initial uh, the first initial and they'll be able to decorate it however they want we did just one for a girl for N with different flowers but once again they'll be able to add seashells if they want to make it a beach theme they can add pom-poms buttons uh, puzzle pieces you name it it the, the only limit uh, that they're gonna have here is gonna be their imagination. Oh. And we give them everything to have the, a great time here at camp. And it's, like I said, nine to noon uh, during the summer.
All right, well, I'm already having a good old time. So uh, the snack's provided, and all you have to do is make your reservation and just inquire with Christine. We have all the information on salive.com. Just click the Ask Scene on SA Live tab, and you can make your reservation. Yes. This is happening all summer long, right? It is. It's going through the middle of August, but you do need to make sure that you make a reservation so we can prepare everything. Yes. Because uh, we will close them out. We've got some slot, some spots left. Uh, so, yeah, go on and uh, have your kiddos come join us. Sounds like a great time. All right, Christine, thank you so much. I'm going to keep working on my base here. Fiona, back to you. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Well, next on SA Live, we're going to tell you about a ticket giveaway from SeaWorld, but also Zach is here to talk about conservation. <laughs> so a lot of times people don't think about opossums when they think about conservation, but this is my friend Blossom the opossum. She is just one of over 40,000 animals that SeaWorld's rescued in our history, and she's just one of the animals I brought to talk about the conservation work we do. Wait till you see the other animals and more about that ticket giveaway and how you can win is straight ahead. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, SeaWorld San Antonio has everything you need for summer fun, rides, great food, animals, and concerts. And Chuck Rowe, marketing leader of SeaWorld, yes, is here. Hello, the, my friend. The man who brings all the fun with him oh. to give us a preview of all the exciting summer fun families can have. There right? is some, ex some exciting <laughs> summer fun at SeaWorld. Electric Ocean, brought to you as a concert series, brought to you by our friends at Pepsi-Cola. I'll give you three guesses as to who's coming tomorrow to SeaWorld. Vanilla Ice I was is say, coming. The kids Vanilla are so Ice. Excited. <laughs> yes, he is back. You know, we're going to stop collaborating and listen. He came last year, had so much fun. He had to come on back again. It is the concert is every Saturday. Well, Vanilla Ice is just tomorrow. We've got a lineup that we'll talk about a little bit later. But the concert is free with SeaWorld admission. It's Love fantastic. It. You cannot beat it. So come 90s back to kids, yeah. there it is. There it is. You got to be there. And of course, as you mentioned, a lot of great musicians coming out, but the animals are the true stars. They are right? indeed, and we're not going to come to SA Live unless we bring some animals. Come on over here. This is my buddy, Zach Millinder. Hi. He's one of our senior animal care specialists. Zach, who do you have here? Moving at the speed of life. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So um, I have one of our radiated tortoises here um, with us. So you can see they're called radiated tortoises because of this cool pattern on the outside of their shell that they have here. Um, so they're just one of the stars that you'll see at SeaWorld this summer. Now an interesting thing about this is it's on the endangered species list, right? It, Tell us about that. It is, yeah. So like you said, you can find concerts, but you can also find conservation at SeaWorld. Um, these guys are in a critically endangered species, actually. Um, and their role at SeaWorld is actually to be part of what's called a species survival plan. Um, so they're here in human care, and they're helping to make sure that their species can survive for much, much longer. And you're educating people about animals that were on the endangered species list. And speaking of animals that were on the endangered species list, Fiona, we got oh, one that yes. was. Yes, this is just but the opening act for the next <laughs> the next star of the show, right? Absolutely. So um, this right here is my friend Star. She is a bald eagle. And this is definitely an animal a lot of people think of when they think of conservation. Um, because like Chuck, like you said, these guys were once endangered. But due to you know changes to how we interact with their natural environment and how we interact with these animals, they have made a huge comeback. She's saying um, thank you. Saying yeah, thank I know, you. I know. She, she loves to tell that story with me. And it's all um, about awareness. It's like you make people aware of what they're doing to the environment and how its impact, uh, people will be like, oh, I don't want to endanger a tortoise or a, or a bald eagle or a whale or whatever, and so they make those changes. Absolutely. And we love to share those stories at SeaWorld, uh, make sure that you all get to know a lot about the individual animals that, that benefit from that conservation, um, and make sure that you guys can go and do it out in your homes as well. And Zach and Star and our tortoise here, they're a part of our animal ambassador team. They actually go out into the park and into the community and spread the word about conservation and research and all the great things that SeaWorld does. All right, let's get back to the lineup for concerts this summer. Oh yeah, we got an amazing lineup ahead. Again, every Saturday we've got a free concert. You come to SeaWorld, whether you have an annual pass or you pay the ticket to come in, the, 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 the concert is free. Tomorrow, Vanilla Ice, 7 o'clock. But rolling into the, the rest of the month, we have Philip Phillips. Do you remember him from America?
American Ooh, Idol. He's one of the winners of American Idol. He's coming. We also have uh, a lineup of contemporary Christian artists that are coming out. They're very, very popular. We've got Zach Williams coming, Newsboys. Newsboys came last year. They're coming again this year. They have this drum set that actually rotates and revolves backwards. It's great. It's a great concert and it's a great uh, to get a good message out there. Uh, we've got country artists. We are in Texas, you know. If you of know. course. So we got country artists out here. We got Easton Corbin, Maddie and Tay are going to be out here. Fourth of July weekend for three days straight. Everybody loves Selena's. Everybody loves Selena's, Everybody, right? Everybody, So we have a Selena's, a Selena's tribute band that's going to be out here. We're going to get our bitty bitty bomba bom. on, <laughs> como la flor, and all that good stuff. Uh, and then we're going to round out with some more 90s at the end of July with SWV, the sweet R and R B group, W U V. I'm so into you, mom, so into you. And real quickly, of course, Aquatica. Aquatica. I got a cousin named Aquatica. Aquatica, the best water park in Texas, if not the world. We think it's fantastic. We've got everything from the serene uh, beaches where you can just kind of chill out. There's a, a lazy river you can go down. And then we also have extreme rides like the brand new Riptide Race. Imagine you and a buddy in a tube. You look over, you see your competitors right there. You mark it, set, go. You go, you twist, you turn. It's a race to the splashdown. You don't want to miss it. SeaWorld and Aquatica, bang for your buck uh, 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 this summer. And of course, a chance to enjoy some of that free because we are giving away a family four pack of tickets to SeaWorld. All you got to do is enter now on our website, salive.com. Thank you so much, Zach. Thank <laughs> you. On SA Live, our Celebrity Friday continues. She stars in movies and TV, and now she's taking over brunch. Angela from HBO's We're Here tells us about an amazing event happening tomorrow and how it's helping a great cause. And next, it's a must-have for your summer events, how you can get these snowball party hacks and why they aren't your traditional icy treat. Don't go anywhere, you're watching SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, New Orleans style snowballs with a Baltimore twist right here in the Alamo City. And Jason Benson, owner of Charm City Snowballs, is here to show us their one of a kind icy treats and what they have new for the summer. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So what is the Baltimore twist? So the Baltimore twist to a New Orleans snowball is so we have the, the really fine shaved ice New Orleans style. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the flavors that we carry. We've got egg custard, we've got spearmint, we've got chocolate, we use marshmallow as a topping. It's, it's very, very classic Baltimore. And you have a treat truck, but now you're offering party packs. That's right. Right? Um, yeah. you know, we're gonna create some treats with them, but tell, tell folks what they come with. So this is exactly how it comes, everything you see here. So it's a 26 quart foam cooler. It comes with uh, about 28 pounds of, of shaved, our signature shaved snowy ice. Uh, three bottles of, of flavor. All of our flavors are homemade, organic, preservative free. We make them every single day from scratch. Um, it, you know, you can bring the party to uh, to a pool, bring them to a pool party, and bring them to the park for a picnic. Mm -hmm. Whatever you need, you can make it happen where you need to do. It. So this is is this one of the more popular flavors? That's egg our, custard. That is okay. our single best seller. That's that's what put us on the map. So egg just custard. Pour it. Right, all right, yep. Here we go. And then what is a topping? What is it, what's a good one to go with this one? So the traditional topping for that one is is marshmallow. Uh, my personal favorite on that one is the sweet cream. It's sweet our cream. it's our uh, our, our in-house made sweet cream. You just cream. dollop it dollop it around. Yeah, a little bit on top. Ooh, there we go. All right. And then what is what flavor is this one? Is this the spearmint? That's lemon lime. Lemon lime. Lemon okay. lime is uh, it's a little bit tart. It's very refreshing. It's really good for summertime. Oh, absolutely. And topping for this. Topping with that, I would probably go whipped cream. Whipped cream. Now you even have something for four-legged friends, right? We do. Yeah, so uh, this year we've just started doing uh, what we call a doggo snow. So the doggo snow is, uh, is a, an eight ounce cup of our, our signature snow um, with an organic all natural beef broth. It's not made with, with any uh, onions, garlic, anything that's not safe for, for pets. On top, a uh, little more than a than dollop of whipped cream for the dogs. <laughs> And then we have, uh, we've got our, our doggy sprinkles that go right on top. All right, so folks, the, the want, doggo. how do they find you? Uh, you can find us on Broadway. We're in the parking lot of the Smoke Shack Meat Market, uh, directly across from the Witty Museum. Uh, the meat Market's doing sandwiches and stuff for, for lunch now, so you can pop by for a sandwich and grab us for dessert. Okay, and you mentioned that your most popular favorite is egg custard. What's another one? 
the, the usuals are cherry, tiger's blood, things like that. Um, egg, egg custard's definitely a favorite. Dreamsicle is also a big one. My personal favorite is the passion fruit. Uh -huh. um, passion fruit, we were working on that flavor for a very long time. We just got it perfected. It's, in, it's incredible. And if, when someone owns the party pack, I mean, it's gonna come just as fresh as if you walked into the store and, and got it, right? Absolutely. We shaved this snow here. Um, probably eight o'clock this morning mm -hmm. and you know doing this live it's it's, it's still, still like that yeah it's still good to go we made all these from it and of course like so many other businesses you wanted to do something after the tragedy in Uvalde and you've been raising donations right absolutely yeah we were you know just like the rest of the world we were horrified by everything that we yeah. saw we knew that we were in a unique position to to be able to host a fundraiser uh, so for an entire weekend we actually hosted a fundraiser 100 percent of the sales uh, tips, gratuities, everything uh, was going to Children's Bereavement Center of South Texas and community came together and we were able to raise uh, $1,600 to donate. And Chloe Palacios, of course, with the Children's Bereavement Center joins us now. Tell folks what it means to have that kind of help. Yeah, we are so overjoyed by the support we received from the community. Uh, a donation like this means that we can continue our services in Uvalde. We've been there um, since the incident happened and we continue, we will continue to be there as long as the community needs us. And so a donation like this just secures our space there. And so we're really, really grateful. And so talk a little bit about how Ch uh, Children's Bereavement Center helps the area. Yeah, so right now, a lot of what our counseling team is doing, the, the grief work will take a while. We know that from our experience in Sutherland Springs that it is a long journey ahead for this community. But right now, a lot of our counseling team is helping children regulate um, their feelings about what they're feeling, kind of help them feel safe and secure. And we're, we actually are getting ready to set up a location there that will do just that. It'll be kind of a comfort and consults area where children can go read books with their family, they can play with pet therapy dogs, and they can feel safe and secure in their community again like they were before all this. Chloe Palacios with the Children's mm -hmm. Bereavement Center. Thank you so much. For more information on the Children's Bereavement Center and on Charm City Snowballs, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just snap that QR code on your screen. You make me feel brand new, girl, you know I love when I'm Still ahead on SA Live, looking for a great date night spot where you can enjoy dinner, drinks, and some cool summer tunes. And next, book your reservations now. Angela from HBO's We're Here tells us about an amazing brunch happening in the Alamo City this weekend, what surprises you can expect, and how it's helping a great cause. You don't want to miss this. If you didn't think brunch could get any better, superstar drag queen Shangela chatted with SA Live producer Robert Morn about a fun event happening tomorrow. We're lucky enough to have Shangela from HBO's We're Here and of course RuPaul's Drag Race joining us today. Thanks for taking the time with us, Shangela. Well, hallelujah, happy pride, baby. Happy Pride. Okay, so I hear you're in the middle of shooting season three of We're Here, right? Can you tell us a little bit about the upcoming season? Yes, you know, We're Here is this really cool show that I co-host with my friends Bob the Drag Queen and Eureka O'Hara. Uh, it's on HBO Max, and we have two seasons over on HBO Max right now. And the third one, you're exactly right, we're in the process of filming. And I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes I've been asked myself, how can this get even bigger and better? And now, in the process of filming season three, I know exactly how. Because there are so many amazing stories that deserve to be told. And baby, we're doing it in a way like no one else. So season three is going to be so good. My goodness, are you, um, what, can you tell me one of the cities you're visiting in season three? You know, you trying to get me fired. I think you trying to put me on the payroll, off the payroll, baby. So you're from Texas. And uh, so besides family, what keeps you coming back to Texas? What do you love about the state? Oh, I could just go on and on and on. Because, you know, I grew up in a small town called Paris, Texas in the Northeast. I graduated from college in Dallas. Uh, I performed all over Texas, from El Paso to Odessa to um, San Antonio, Austin, Houston, all the way down to Corpus Christi, baby. I've been at Brownsville. I was in McAllen. I mean, I've been all over. And the things that bring me back to Texas, besides my family, which I love so very much, um, but the food, first of all, you know, I can get the 
the best meals, the best eats, the, the best experiences, the fun, the people. I remember all of my drag divas from clubs like Oil Can Harry's in Austin or uh, The Heat in San Antonio, uh, S4 in Dallas, so many great places to just have a great time and celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. Wonderful. Can you can you share one good memory you have of San Antonio? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, years ago, I was the Grand Marshal for San Antonio Pride. And I remember that it was so hot in San Antonio for the outdoor ride. Number one, they said, Miss Shangela, we got you in a convertible. Okay, baby, but where's the air? Where's the wind? That's what I want. <laughs> But I'll tell you, the best thing about San Antonio were all of those beautiful faces, all the people that came out to celebrate Pride and to show their love for the LGBTQ plus community. And they just showered me with their joy. And that's why I always want to bring that back whenever I can come. I can tell you, it's only gotten hotter in San Antonio. It is hot right now. <laughs> oh, baby, that's OK, because I'm Shangela. I love to bring the heat, OK? <laughs> Okay, for Pride Month, you're teaming up with Snooze Restaurant and Yelp. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, yes. I am so thrilled to be teaming up with Snooze Restaurant and Yelp in a way to help highlight uh, our LGBTQ plus owned businesses and really celebrate pride in this way throughout Texas uh, because the events that these that the organizations are hosting. So Yelp and Snooze Eaters are hosting like events in a, four cities across Texas, like Dallas, Austin, Houston, and of course, San Antonio. And for anyone who goes to these events, it's this Saturday, June 11th, right? If you go to these events, which are great, uh, there's great food already. Hallelujah. These are free events. Of course, you got to pay for your meal, but free events. And there are going to be surprise drag performances at these events as well. So all you have to do is get your little phone, right? See, this is mine right here. And go to the Yelp app. And in the Yelp app, you just insert. Or no, actually, you hit events. You hit events and boom. That event is going to pop up on June 11th. And if you RSVP, this is the awesome part. Yelp and Suzy Eateries together is going to donate up to $50,000. So for every RSVP, each party that they get, that's a dollar donation, up to $50,000, which is an amazing contribution to the Trevor Project, which you already know is a lovely organization that helps out specifically LGBTQ plus youth and those struggling. All right, well, Snooze AM Eatery just dropped off some of their Pride pancakes. Just one of the amazing items you can get at the Drag Brunch tomorrow, but don't forget, you have to RSVP through Yelp to help raise money for the Trevor Project. We have a link on our website. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, next. Local musicians take center stage where you can support these local singers and enjoy dinner and drinks. Stay with us. Welcome back. The Hyatt Regency and Grand Hyatt Hotels are hosting live musicians every weekend throughout the month of June. It's a great chance to take in the sounds of summer and enjoy some dinner and drinks. And tonight you can hear Matthew Ian at the Hyatt Regency San Antonio's Q Kitchen starting at 6 p.m. and Pedro Constante at the Grand Hyatt's Barrojo starting at 8 p.m. Pedro stopped by to give us a sneak peek performance. Take a listen. I've been thinking about you, baby. I've been thinking about you all day long. I've been wondering what you're doing and where you are, yeah. You must be some kind of tired, yeah. You've been running through my mind all day. I can't believe I've been without your love so long.
here, Pedro Constante at the Grand Hyatt Barrojo starting at 8 p.m. and Matthew Ian tonight at the Hyatt Regency San Antonio's Q Kitchen starting at 6 p.m. For more information, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the Ask Scene on SA Live tab. All right. Monday on SA Live, the countdown to Father's Day is on and a good homemade meal can definitely make him happy. We're showing you an easy recipe made with Texas dads in mind. But right now, KSAT expert John Wayne's service company is hiring. So what's it like to work there? Well, we're trying to be enlightening to to kids on you know what's what, what's available to them, trying to inspire them to take advantage of the opportunities they have here. And there's a huge demand for plumbers and electricians and AC techs. Fast Track to the Trades through John Wayne is a three-month program for maintenance technicians. So after three months, we put you in your own truck. You will be running maintenance calls and making uh, around $50,000 a year to start. And, and not only that, you're getting paid to be trained. You become an employee of John Wayne, you are paid for the three-month training. At my high school, it's nothing like this. Great to see you know young high school kids learning about the, the trades. And we've got the uh, John Wayne car out here and the kids are taking a look at it. And there's a bunch of opportunities. You don't have to go to college to, to have a successful career. And companies like John Wayne are out there that will hire you right now. Uh, I know John Wayne needs a lot more employees and they already have a ton, but they could use more if they could find the right people to hire. So you can get right out of high school and go right to work for John Wayne. Y'all, y'all got an opportunity right here with the leaders of this school to learn a work ethic. We've got all the skill set of men and women my age that are slowly retiring, and we have no workforce to fill it. So being a part of facility that actually are giving them the opportunity and giving them the structure, it's awesome. I'm hoping that some of my words meant something to them, that it would be inspiring to them. If it is to be, it is up to me. Say it with me. If it is to be, it is up to me. That's right. There is a great opportunity for them to learn a trade and be successful and maybe possibly own their own business someday. All right, we ask you what song describes your life right now. Lisa Ann says, holiday, oh yeah. And Valerie says, Tennessee whiskey. I'm not even gonna try to sing that one because that needs a real singer to do it. We will see you Monday at one right here.